We all know and love Bootstrap. It is the most popular repo on all of GitHub. Now there are some useful things in Bootstrap. There are some things that you use undoubtedly every time you sit down and code a front end. But there are also some hidden gems in Bootstrap. Today we're going to be looking at the top five hacks in Bootstrap 3. Let's dig it. A hack, you say? Yes, a hack. A hack, as defined by the most authoritative source on the entire universe of internets, UrbanDictionary.com, is a clever. So, dang it, is a clever solution to a tricky problem. Now, to be clear, I'm not saying that Bootstrap is sloppy code. I'm not saying that the creators are bad programmers. Quite the contrary. I'm giving a list of what I feel are some clever solutions to some tricky problems found in Bootstrap. So let's begin. Number one. With one simple style declaration, Bootstrap takes every element on the single page and changes the way those little delicate guys think about themselves in a very fundamental way. Using Bootstrap, every single element is defaulted to box sizing border box. This means that the way that the box model is measured is recalculated to include the borders of every element and not just the default browser method of just the box content. Now I talk at length about what that all means in a video here on this channel called the box model, box sizing, and box shadow. You can find a link to that in the description down there below the video. Check it out. Number two! Remember when you were a kid and you used to hide your battery port cards under your pillow? Well, Bootstrap lets you hide text. Similar. Remember when you were a kid and you used to hide your battery port cards under your pillow? Well, in a not too dissimilar fashion, Bootstrap lets us hide text using the text hide class. But why would you want to hide text? That's you. The classic example is that you have a logo in the top left hand corner of your website right there and you want to use an H1 element to use the title of your web page, but you also want to use the company logo. So you're going to write out the text and in that H1 you're going to use a background image of the company's logo and you're going to hide the text that's contained in that container. You would want to do this in case somebody is using like an RSS reader or happens to go back to 1997 and has the style sheets and a browser turned off. The way the Bootstrap Docs puts it, utilize the text hide class to help replace an element's text content with a background image. Simple but useful. Number three. Clearfix. Yeah. Clearfix is not unique to Bootstrap. It was invented by the CSS Ubermensch Nicholas Gallagher, but it is included in Bootstrap and it's very clever, so we're going to talk about it. So the problem is when you float an object, its parent container collapses its height. In Bootstrap, the solution is to slap the class of Clearfix onto the container. The class uses an after pseudo element to add an empty shadow DOM element just after the container. The new element added has a CSS property and value of clear both. This will cause the parent element to wrap around all its little floaty children and snuggle them up a little tight like in a little blanket, just like a mama bird hugging her little baby eggs. Little, little baby eggs. Mama. Number four. I like how easy Bootstrap makes it to get this truncated text look. Great for tables just like this one in iTunes where the name of the track is actually too long to fit into the space allotted. Use the text overflow mixin. Now it's not a class, it's a mixin. Use the text overflow mixin to get this feature on any line of text. And keep in mind, it does not work on paragraphs. When I say paragraphs, I mean multiple lines of text. It does work in paragraph tags, but you're not going to get multiple rows. It's just one row. That's, that's a part of it. Just one line. Okay. Number five. I think this is really, really clever. When developing responsive sites, you may have to hide a certain element and show another element depending on the device that's being used. An example would be a floating meta block like this, which would tuck under when the viewport is too small. This is not done by moving HTML nodes around, but by simply hiding one and showing the other. It's a lot easier that way. Another classic example would be a responsive menu system where you got that little hamburger up at the top when it's on a mobile device, but when it's on a regular uh, desktop or laptop or whatever, you have a full navigation across the top. That's another common one. This works by finding the element you don't want to show up when the viewport gets too big and adding the visible dash XS dash star class to that element. Now when the device gets wider than 768 pixels, that element will disappear. 
Now to understand this better, I recommend taking a few seconds to stare at this table here in the bootstrap docs. It's a really clever way to tackle a tricky problem that you will most likely encounter when developing responsive websites. However, Bootstrap warns, try to use these on a limited basis and avoid creating entirely different versions of the same site. Instead, use them to complement each device's presentation. You have just watched the top five bootstrap hacks. Wasn't that a pleasant way to spend the last however many minutes it was you spent watching this video? If you thought so, please subscribe to this channel. There's a new video every Monday. And now for the question of the week. What is your favorite bootstrap hack? Leave your answer in the comments below. And if any of you guys like blow my mind with something new, I will definitely give you guys shout outs in the video next week. Also check out the video description for the dev tips link of the week. This is a new thing that I'm doing and I'm not saying anything more about it other than to say, check out that link in the description below. That is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for walking, walking. That is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and keep on hacking yo. Talk to you later.